to another Google Analytics for tutorial. In this video, we're going to talk about how to track YouTube videos on a web page. So, you know, this may come in handy if you have a YouTube video on your homepage or any other page on your website, and you want to track how well those videos are being engaged with. You know, people ask questions about, you know, people ask, you know, should the video even be on there? You know, is the video too long? How long are people watching it for? Uh, this will give you a pretty good idea of all of those performance metrics and performance information. So the first thing you want to do is just have a page in mind. So pick out a page that you want to look at. So in this situation, I'm going to be looking at our uh, latest blog here, which is what is a secondary dimension in Google Analytics 4. And on this blog itself, we have a video embedded for my YouTube channel. So I'm going to go ahead and use this page as our test subject for the tracking step is to make sure that you have Google Tag Manager installed on your website. And one important thing when you want to start tracking this, and you should probably do this when you first start your Google Tag Manager account anyway, is to go to your variable section and make sure that your variables are all updated and all activated. So you want to go click on variables down here and click on configure and make sure that everything is selected. This is just a good practice to make sure that you're capturing as much information as you can. But uh, specifically for this video, you wanna make sure that you have checked everything under the videos subsection. So make sure you have, you have everything uh, selected. And once you have everything selected, you are good to go. Um, so go back to your homepage and click on preview. Now that you're here in your preview window, go ahead and put in your website URL and click connect. And this will bring up, like usual, your website and your preview window. So once you have your website open, go ahead and navigate over to the page of interest. In this situation, uh, like I said, it's going to be our blog. So click on blog and we'll go to the first blog here. And basically with Google Tag Manager, the trick is to always mimic or emulate the event that you are trying to track. In this situation, I am trying to track the video. So I'm going to hit play on the video. But, but before I do that, I'm going to look at what we have here. And I'm going to take note of what ends up appearing on this section over here. So I want to look at uh, the name of the YouTube video and um, what the duration is that was played. So I want to see how far into the video people are watching before they pause or leave the page. So I'm going to go back here and click on play. And while, and while this video plays in the background on mute, I'm going to look at what happens here. So I'm seeing here uh, that we have some data coming in for YouTube video and video engagement. This means that the, vi the, the video is embedded properly in my website. And it also means that my variables are uh, turn on accordingly. So everything is firing as expected. I'm going to go ahead and stop this video. It has been playing for uh, now 10 seconds. I'm going to stop it right now. And I stopped it at 11 seconds. So let's call that good. Let's say that this video was played for 11 seconds. So I'm going to click on uh, the most recent YouTube video metric here and click on this click on variables and scroll down here to the video section. So I'm seeing here that for the video section, um, we have the video title and we also have the video percent and we have the video current time. So you could do this in a couple different ways. Um, over here, we're seeing that it shows you the number of seconds. So it's saying that the video is 385 seconds long and the video was played for 12 seconds. And also here it shows you a percentage. So it tells me that the video, that only 3% of the video was completed. In this case, I think I'm gonna go with the video current time. I think the, um, you know, the time is what is gonna be the best indicator of how long it was watched. So let's go ahead and stick with that. So let's leave this page open and let's go ahead and go to Google Tag Manager. Events on Google Tag Manager, you wanna start with the trigger. So let's go ahead and click on new. And this is gonna be a little bit different instead of going to you know uh, page view or elements under click, we're scrolling down a little bit further and we're going down to YouTube video. 
And over here, you could uh, activate as many checkboxes as you want. In this case, I'm gonna uncheck start and complete, and I'm gonna focus on progress. And like I said, we have two options here. We can look at percentages or we can look at time thresholds. I'm gonna look at time thresholds. So I'm gonna look for, you know, 10, you know, just for demonstration purposes, probably uh, uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, um, you know, just uh, that long because you know we're just doing a, a, a tutorial here but if i was doing this for real i'd probably include a much wider uh, range or you know i would do 10 30 you know i'd skip a couple numbers there so yeah so once we have the thresholds in there go ahead and click advanced on this box here and over here uh you can choose whether or not it fires in all videos or some videos so here you could um you know filter it by uh video title. So I'm actually going to go ahead and filter it by video title because I want to look at um, the specific video that we are working with, which is how to utilize custom secondary dimensions in Google Analytics 4. So let's copy this and put this in here and let's save this. And let's obviously save our trigger. So let's call this YouTube video trigger. So once this is saved, we're going to move on and create our tag. It's going to be simple, like how you would typically create your tag. We start with the trigger and go to tag. So I will say in this part of the uh, process, everyone has a different way of doing it. In this tutorial, I want to show you the most simple and accessible way to get the information that you need. There is a lot more that goes into this, but I want to focus on the core element, which is allowing you to look at you know, how much the video has been watched. And I want you to get the information that you need from this. So I'm gonna stick with the absolute simplest, absolute basic uh, method of doing this. And, and uh, you know, there's always other resources and there's always room to go further uh, with this. So I'm gonna start with the most basic ground zero here. So let's start with new um, and let's click on triggering and select our YouTube video trigger that we just created. I'm going to tag configuration and select Google Analytics 4 event because we want this information to come through to Google Analytics 4. So like usual, we click on our Google Analytics 4 configuration. And for the event name, I'm going to actually call this video. So this will create a new section under the uh, events tab in Google Analytics 4. So you can really include this whenever you want. Uh, if, if you want to include this under engagement, if you want to include this under click, you could do that too. Um, you know, it just, um, as long as it appears in a place that is convenient for you and it appears in a place that, that, that you can easily access. So I'm going to put this under video. I'm, I'm going to click down here on event parameters and I'm going to click um, add a row over here. And for event parameter, I'm going to call this um, the title of the video, which is how to utilize secondary dimensions. So I'm just going to call this Google Analytics 4 or GA4 tutorial view. And then in your value, your value is going to be the most important part. So your value basically um, is what Google Tag Manager pushes through to Google Analytics. So I want, you know, if you go back to the beginning, I want to figure out what video it is and how uh, many seconds people have watched it for. So I'm going to press this button here and I'm going to take video title and I'm gonna put the semicolon here. There is no uh, right or wrong method here. Um, you know, here at Global Reach, we typically do, uh, you know, metric semicolon metric you know just to denote it but whatever works you and whatever works for your organization any data that you can interpret is going to be right for you so uh, over here we're going to do video title and we're going to do video current time which is 12 seconds so i'm going to just push that through video current time and i'm going to go ahead and call this youtube video tag Save this, and I'm going to go ahead and click submit. So once you submit this, like usual, it takes about 24 hours 
uh, or 12 to 24 hours for it to come through into Google Analytics 4. So I'm going to show you uh, what that looks like, um, you know, once you're ready to import. So 12 hours hasn't actually passed, but we're going to pretend like it has. So open up your Google Analytics for a property in about 12 to 24 hours. Usually it comes through in about 12 hours. What you want to do is you want to then uh, navigate down here to the admin section and you want to go to custom definitions. And once you're under custom definitions, go ahead and click on create custom dimensions. And down here, event parameter, you want to look for the name of the parameter that you created. So let's click on the tag that I just made. And I would want to look for GA4 tutorial view. So let's look down here. It hasn't come through yet, obviously. Um, but once it comes through, just click on that. And you know, I'm, I'm going to call it, you know, Google Analytics 4 tutorial view. And for description, I'm going to say it measures watch time that a tutorial video was watched for. On the, on the website. So that is, um, you know, what you can do. So once, once you're done with that, you can go ahead and click save. I'm not going to click save, obviously. And in, in about 12 hours after you import it through on Google Analytics, I will show you where to find it. And that's under reports. And that is going to be under engagement and click on events. And once you're here, you're going to look for the name of the event. So event name over here, I have it down as video. So uh, we should have another event name down here that appears as video. And I'll just go ahead and click into that. And once I click into that, I'll have the parameter name, which is GA4 tutorial view. And I will have my information with the video title and then how long the video was watched for. So that is how you do it. You know, there are many different ways you can do it. If you only want to look at a video on a specific page, you can go to your trigger and make sure that it only appears on one specific page. If you want to look at every video on the website, you can also define that you want to look at every video on your website. There are many ways that you can narrow this down and many ways that you can funnel the data. You know, it really depends on what you want to look at and it really depends on what your objective is. So. I hope this video gave you a pretty good idea of where to start and how to get the information that you want. And uh, yeah, uh, thank you for watching.